Yo, what's going on, everybody? Trooper Chevy here. I'm going to get right into the video because I don't want to speak anymore. But we got another backcast review. So let's get into it. Let's go. So here we go. Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay, so I just got a Kevin Harvick. And this is one of the things that was supposed to be here three weeks from now. But your boy got two of them now. They look absolutely stunning. So I'm going to A, get a 6th gen in here and do a side by side and then we're going to open this thing up and I'm going to show you the differences. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the 2021 Kevin Harvick next to the 2022. Now I'm going to pan up a little bit. So as you can tell, major primary uh, different sponsors. But let's not look at that for right now, because I can also say, well, don't you know, well, I don't have him here right now, I don't know where he is, but the one doesn't have the same primary, well, we're looking at this right now, we're looking at Kevin Harvick, so primaries are a different kind of thing. So Kevin Harvick uh, 2021 Mustang, Kevin Harvick 2022 Mustang, so... Here's the rear, like I said, showed you all the box on the other one. Pretty much the stock standard apart from the sticker. So, I like it. I mean, looks really good, good for the actual second box. But um, I'm going to take both of these out and I'm going to look at them real quick. Now, while I take these out of the box, I just want to say, I'm not going to beg for your subscription. I'm not going to do any of that. But if you want to see more content like this and watch me unbox some more, uh, show off some more next-gen diecast, or you just want to see see some diecast in general. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit a like if you don't want to. It's all free, you know. But like I said, I don't care. I'm doing this for fun. So let's get right into I don't want to tear this box. So I'm just going to stop the video right here. So I'm going to put the 2021 up on its box. And I'm going to put the 2022 up on its box. So, and I should probably flip the box the right way. Let's look at the key differences. Starting off with the Gen 6, pretty much what you'd think out of a Gen 6. It's a flat back bumper, curved front bumper. So, I mean, banner, you got the Harvick with two symbols, and you got Harvick on the back. Now this one is a lot more boxy, as you can tell. It's a lot more boxy if you're just looking at it sideways. So, now we pan over to the 2022. You have a more rounded, not as boxy kind of look to the car. And I, sh and I, pr I think I'm bringing up a lot of stuff with the, like I did with the K Kyle Larson. But, you gotta think, this is a Mustang. So, I, there's a couple of things that I'm going to be more heavy to the Chevy because, I mean, look at my username, Trooper Chevy. I'm a huge Chevy fanboy, but I do like the Fords sometimes. Some of the Fords look really good. So, we're going to side-by-side comparison this. Now, scratch the paint scheme. Don't look at the paint scheme because you can't really go off because this is a brand new sponsor for this year. But you don't have the big old Mustang underneath the, uh, you just have a, well, I like how Ford does the actual Ford and then Mustang, and how Chevy didn't go with the Chevy Chevy, so I like the actual look of the Ford and then the Mustang, so side by side, you're going to look at this, it's the, the numbers slid forward, and I'm still not 100% on top of it, but I'm kind of getting used to it now, so, um, with the, sh with the, I think they call it the dorsal fin. But if you look on the 2022, it's a lot bigger than the 2021. 2021 is a lip. This is a full-on, uh, It's it might as well be another second spoiler. But um, uh, single spoke, like I did on the Kyle Larson diecast, I will probably put that up right here if you want to watch that last, uh, last video I made. But um, as you can tell, the hood is definitely freaking square so not like on this one where it's rounded but it's almost completely squared 
Um, like I said with the banner, you have Harvick on, on top of the driver instead of in the middle. So, I like them. Uh, rounded back bumper. That is my diecast review. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Trooper Chevy, out. <laughs>